Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Did you know that astronomers have recently found the largest galaxy ever that is making everyone baffled by its existence? Let's fly across the cosmos and find out more. Astronomers have discovered the largest galaxy yet found, roughly 3 billion light years away from Earth. The galaxy, called Alcyoneus, is a large radio galaxy that spans 16.3 million light years and is home to a supermassive black hole with a mass 400 million times that of the Sun. While radio galaxies remain a mystery in an already enigmatic universe, astronomers anticipate that this discovery will reveal additional information about them as well as other mediums drifting in space. What are radio galaxies? In the most basic sense, a radio galaxy is a galaxy that emits a lot of electromagnetic radiation or radio waves as the name suggests. The discovery of radio galaxies demonstrates the universe's propensity to grow in the opposite direction of what was initially thought to be its steady state. Martin Ryle, one of the leading proponents of the expanding universe theory, demonstrated that galaxies colliding create radio waves. All galaxies have the ability to emit electromagnetic radiation. In fact, radio waves are also produced by the Milky Way, the Earth's galaxy. However, a radio galaxy emits thousands to millions of times more energy per unit of time than typical galaxies. Essentially, elliptical galaxies emit more radio waves than spiral galaxies and, as a result, are believed to be the brightest in galaxy clusters. Radio waves are created when electrons move at the speed of light via a magnetic field, a process known as synchrotron radiation. Because the field is impacted by magnetism, it bends electrons' paths, causing them to release energy. Spirals, ellipticals, ring galaxies, irregulars, and other forms of galaxies exist in the universe, but enormous radio galaxies span tremendous cosmic distances. Let's find out more about the galaxy and how it was discovered. The Alcyoneus galaxy was discovered with the help of data from NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer Satellite Observatory and the Europe-based Low Frequency Array LOFAR, which is a network of roughly 20,000 radio antennas distributed across 52 places throughout Europe. It is the world's largest radio telescope, operating at the lowest frequencies visible from Earth. The astronomers found that the galaxy is a standard elliptical galaxy, but is roughly 240 billion times more massive than the Sun, according to their findings, which were published in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics. These factors, according to the study, have the potential to reveal more information about what is driving the proliferation of radio wave-producing lobes. The Alcyoneus galaxy, which spans 16.3 million light-years, is 160 times larger than the Milky Way and four times larger than the previous record holder, IC 1101, which covers 3.9 million light-years. Alcyoneus is approximately 3 billion light-years from Earth and is named after one of the fabled giants who fought Hercules and whose name means mighty ass in Greek. How was it discovered? The significant discovery was made by researchers at the Leiden Observatory in the Netherlands while examining the second data release, DR2, from the LOFAR 2-meter sky survey, LOTSS. The researchers released their findings on the preprint service ARCSIV on February 11th after they were accepted for publication in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics. We have discovered what is in projection the largest known structure made by a single galaxy a giant radio galaxy with a projected proper length of 4.99 plus or minus 0.04 megaparsecs. The correct proper length is at least 5.04 plus or minus 0.05 megaparsecs, 16.44 million light years. The researchers, led by Martin Oy, an astronomer at Leiden Observatory in the Netherlands, wrote in the study. Oy discovered the massive structure by chance after processing the data to find only huge and diffuse radio lobes. When I saw Alcyoneus's plumes in our images, Martin Oy wrote in an email to the Daily Galaxy, I did not immediately realize this was a special discovery. My knowledge of radio galaxies wasn't great at that point, and I had only just learned how long the largest recorded example was. I did a preliminary back-of-the-envelope calculation and out came 5 megaparsecs. At that point, I got really excited and restlessly checked the steps again to see whether what I had done was correct. Amazingly, the results stood up. Then I realized I might really be up to something. I emailed a radio galaxy expert in the UK, Martin Hardcastle, who wrote back, So I'd say this is pretty secure. Congratulations, we may have a new record here. I couldn't believe it. 
So what has got astronomers around the world perplexed? As previously mentioned, the galactic monster is a massive example of a radio galaxy. It is a galaxy with a supermassive black hole at its heart that gobbles up tremendous amounts of matter before spitting it out, sending two giant jets of plasma traveling at near light speed. The plasma beams slow down after traveling millions of light years, forming plumes that release light in the form of radio waves. Alcyoneus has the largest lobes of any creature yet discovered. Massive, plasma-filled radio lobes in galaxies aren't new, considering the fact that the Milky Way has two modest plumes. But scientists are baffled as to how Alcyoneus, a pretty typical galaxy at its core, was able to generate such monstrously massive plumes. Apart from its immense jets, Alcyoneus is a typical elliptical galaxy, with a total mass of 240 billion times the mass of the Sun, which is half that of the Milky Way, and a central supermassive black hole 400 million times the mass of the Sun. That is 100 times less massive than the largest black hole. And it wasn't simply Alcyoneus's mass that seemed out of place. Beyond geometry, Alcyoneus and its host are suspiciously ordinary. The total low-frequency luminosity density, stellar mass, and supermassive black hole mass are all lower than, though similar to, those of the medial giant radio galaxies, the researchers wrote in their study. Thus, very massive galaxies or central black holes are not necessary to grow large giants, and if the observed state is representative of the source over its lifetime, neither is high radio power. What exactly is a black hole? A black hole is a region of space where gravity is so strong that even light cannot escape. Because stuff has been compressed into a small space, gravity is extremely powerful. This can occur when a star dies. People cannot perceive black holes because no light can escape. They are unnoticed. Space telescopes equipped with specialized equipment can aid in the discovery of black holes. Special technologies can observe how stars in close proximity to black holes behave differently from other stars. Did they find an answer? For the time being, the astronomers are perplexed, but they're looking into several possible answers. One theory is that the galaxy's surroundings have a lower density than typical, allowing its jets to spread to unprecedented scales. Another possibility is that Alcyoneus lies within a filament of the cosmic web, which is a massive and poorly understood structure of gas and dark matter that connects galaxies. The researchers believe that determining what causes Alcyoneus to increase in size would help them understand how other galaxies grow as well. If there exist host galaxy characteristics that are an important cause for giant radio galaxy growth, then the hosts of the largest giant radio galaxies are likely to possess them, the researchers wrote. Similarly, if there exist particular large-scale environments that are highly conducive to giant radio galaxy growth, then the largest giant radio galaxies are likely to reside in them. Is it possible that there might be more galaxies like Alcyoneus? The region where Alcyoneus is located, astronomer Reinout van Weeren at the Leiden Observatory said in an email to the Daily Galaxy, must have a density that is low enough so that its giant lobes keep expanding. Therefore, the next step in the research is to obtain better measurements of Alcyoneus' environment. In addition, it is possible that there are even larger cousins of Alcyoneus lurking in our radio surveys. We are currently sifting through the survey data to find these. To date, around a thousand GRGs have been discovered, with just 10 exceeding 10 million light years in size, the largest being J1420 0545, which has an estimated proper length of roughly 16 million light years. GRGs, together with the rest of the mega parsec scale radio galaxies, are thought to represent the universe's greatest single galaxy induced phenomenon. According to OI, the project's lead astronomer, if the properties of the existing host galaxy are a significant driver of giant radio galaxy expansion, then the hosts of the greatest giant radio galaxies are likely to have them. In the discovery paper, we eliminate three simple hypotheses, that a very massive supermassive black hole, a high stellar mass, or a high radio power has led to Alcyoneus's record length. So the big question still is, how Alcyoneus got so big? And we think that studying this giant further could elucidate why radio galaxies in general become so large. Scientists hope to gain more insight into the formation of galaxies by comparing the data to the formation of the biggest galaxy ever discovered. And that, folks, brings us to the end of this video. If you found what you saw in today's video interesting, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below what you think of Alcyoneus. Thanks for watching.